Hey everyone, I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WPLS. You are watching Open. We welcome you to Open BXRX. We've got another fantastic show lined up for you today. I have the Rev with me, Reverend Al Cohen. He's the Executive Director of the Community Initiatives of New York. It's uh, initial T-C-I-O-N-Y. And he's here with us today. He does some great things in the community. Rev, welcome to the show. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling real great. I'm glad to be here, glad to be here with you, and um, just excited for the things that are happening in our community. Yeah, and there's a lot of things happening within, uh, you know, uh, TCIONY. Tell us about it. Okay. Yes, um, TCIONY stands for the Community Initiative of New York, and I think it's in its uh, uh, an issue or in its title, Initiative. And one of the things we do here at the community initiative is look for the needs that is, is necessary in our community and we take the initiative to really fulfill the needs of the residents in the community. And we do from feeding the homeless or those that are in need of food, you know, clothing, giving out clothing for those that are in need of yeah. clothing any type of support that is needed for the community, we take the initiative and in providing those needs, you know, for our residents in the community. Sounds like God's work to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and out of that comes um, a big youth component that we work with. Um, it's called TAG, Teaching yeah. a Generation. TAG is Teaching a Generation. And oftentimes people ask us, what does that mean? Or where did that concept come from? And I often think about when we were young as kids, there was the game that we used to play called tag, you it. Right, and right. That came in reference to, you know, you find somebody and you chase them, you hit them, and you let them know that now they are the designated one to yeah. you know, carry on whatever. And so when we look at our youth generation today, we look at them as being the next one that have to take the lead uh -huh. and be responsible. So we say, tag you it. And because of that, we provide the resources, the education and the information that is needed to make sure that they are successful and what they're called to do and what they desire to do for their future. So we put all our resources behind them to make sure that they're coming out the gate winning. And then yeah. also when you look at a tag, a tag is like a label that you have in your clothes. And one of the things about a label in your clothing, it gives you information. It tells you how to take care of the garment. And it also tells you what size the garment is. And it's also telling you what the garment is made of. So yeah. when we look at our generation, we look at the fact that they already been labeled. And so we want to change the narrative of that label that has been placed on them by society. Society said kids in our urban community won't make it. They won't, you know, graduate. They won't, you know, become productive citizens. So we put that label on them and we change the narrative by giving them the tools, the equipment, the resources to make sure that they are uh, provided with what they need to win the tools you know, understanding how to take care of them. Because some of them are coming from different backgrounds with family yeah. issues. So we know how to take care of them, to help mold them, you know, and just the potential, the level of potential that they have and the talents that they have to make sure we are nurturing that so they can win. Yeah, and you do all kinds of things like Teens Against Guns. And uh, you had uh, a couple of weeks ago, you had the police department up there. And I said, let me stop by and, and, and see what uh, they're doing. Because I always get your, your correspondence. Right. And I said, wow, what are you doing this week? And I said, you know, I called you up. I said, hey, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop on by. And the kids were very, or students or youngsters were very receptive to what was happening. And they were very vocal. You know, uh, I, I like uh, your wife had that interaction with them. And they yeah. were going back and forth. Yeah. The dialogue was, was pretty deep and heavy. And that's one thing we pride ourselves on doing for the youth is giving them a safe place that they can come and share their thoughts, share their ideas, their feelings, you know, what might be taking place in their own life 
you know, we provide that safe environment for them. We call it a no judgment zone because we know that kids have a lot to say, but they don't talk to adults, but yeah. they talk among themselves. And we know growing up, we come from households where the parents would tell us, don't talk back or be seen and not heard. So right. it sparked a generation of kids not wanting to talk to adults, you know, because we've been used to always saying, stop talking, stop talking. And so now, you know, kids have a lot of issues and the things that they're facing, but you'll find out that they won't talk to law enforcement, they won't talk to adults, but they'll talk among themselves. So we yeah. created an environment, you know, where they feel safe coming and sharing these ideas. And it started from our office where the kids from different high schools would come in and they still do after school and just share about their thoughts of the day, things that took place in class, things that took place in their school, things that are happening in the community. So we said, well, let's set up a larger form where we can have that same intimate atmosphere, but on a larger scale with more youth. And it's been working. It's been yeah. working. I like that question that was asked. Uh, how do you think people see you? I think it was something to that effect. And one student stood up and said, uh, well, police officers see me as a criminal. Remember that? Yeah, I said, yeah. Wow. That's, that's the way he's going through life, right, you know, right. visualizing this and, and thinking that everybody sees him as a criminal. Yeah. And that's, and that's important because when you said how you saw law enforcement there, law enforcement comes every week. We've yeah. had from all the chiefs of police to the commissioners, you know, community affairs, you know, all kinds of dignitaries come because they found that this was the place where they can come and sit and listen to the youth literally express themselves. And uh, we had one session that was so powerful, doctor, where we had law enforcement there with these kids and we started out asking the question, how many of you hate the police? And so many raised their hands while law enforcement was all over the room. Oh, and wow. we started the conversation, why you don't like the police? And yeah. then they started talking, like you found the background to a lot of these kids' animosity or some could just be perception without any experience, but some had legitimate experiences. Some told how their uncle got killed by the police, by mistaken identity. You know, yeah. it happened to one of their relatives where law enforcement, you know, assaulted, you know, family member, things of that nature, but they were yeah. able to get it out. And yeah, that dialogue yeah. is important too to to create that interaction and that harmony between the police department and the community. Exactly. Um, so, what events do you have coming up after the twenty fourth? Well, we have um, like from the twenty fourth on, um, which is the last part of the month. We have one that's going to take place where we just going to have the youth do a talent night. It's almost like the mini Apollo, where because this is still Black History Month. And we want the young people to have a place to come where they can showcase their talent. So we're going to be doing that on literally the, the 24th, you know, um, having them come from different boroughs, showcasing their talent. In, the in time past, we had uh, just a couple of weeks ago, the DA, um, uh, District Attorney Bragg come and speak yeah. to youth, you know, and had youth come and, and bring in questions and stuff so they can get clarity and understanding, even from a youth's perspective about the law and the things that are taking place among, you know, this gun violence and, and things of that nature. So, um, and then we have other um, celebrity uh, personalities that's going to be coming through the month of March and, and so forth and so on, you know, to come and really inspire the kids and, uh, you know, just engage in conversation. Yeah. And what's the website? Where can we go to get more information on all the wonderful things that uh, you guys are doing in our community? Uh, sure. Well, you can follow us, um, first of all, uh, at IG at T-C-I-O-N-Y, which is the initials for the Community Initiative of New York. And then also our website, because we post every week. Nothing is delayed. Nothing is months ago. Uh, <laughs> from the beginning to the current, you know, yeah. our 
website is www.tciony.org. There you go. Reverend Al Cohen, the Executive Director of the Community Initiative of New York, T-C-I-O-N-Y. I'm the dog, Bob Lee. We'll take a break right here, come back with some more open next. 